So you said that uh, the way you've kept it fresh uh, is that um, this is it's not a trilogy fight. You're approaching it as, as any fight, yeah. any kind of fight. Yeah. Is that hard though? Because you know the guy. You, you know that, that uh, you know him personally now. You know him in the octagon. So is it hard to, like, to be in here and kind of pretend like you're fighting for a new guy when it's it's a guy that you're familiar with at this point? It's the same guy, the same face, but with what comes with that, you know, the, the fighting style, how he's going to switch it up and try to uh, counter what I'm going to do and, and make adjustments. It's all, it's all new and it's all a scramble. And really, we don't know 100% until we get in there and start, to mo start moving around. And then I have to auto-regulate the, the actions and, and my defense and, and everything. That's the beautiful thing about fighting. Do you like being in here and hitting this heavy bag? And like, I'm sure that you can picture him really well because it was only six months ago that you guys fought. Like, like when you're working out in here and you're drilling, are you like, are you really seeing him and kind of feeling his movements or is that like, you can't get that from, from seven minutes of a fight? No, I, uh, I know the way he moves. You know, I, I have a even better feel of his timing, uh, his speed, his accuracy, which the guy is good at a lot of things, man. He really is. He's special. At, uh, and I felt it again in January when we, when we fought his timing, um, his willingness to put himself in harm's way to land shots is uh, all attributes you have to have to go out there and finish guys the way he does. And I respect that because I have, I have the same, um, I don't want to curse in this interview, but don't, don't care mentality mm -hmm. uh, at times when I'm in there. I'll risk it all to land a big shot. And, and that's the kind of fights I want to be part of and put on shows and, and somebody's going to fall, you know, that, that's just the fight business. One of the kind of fun things about a trilogy is just to see how the sort of relationship or the dynamic between the two fighters changes. How would you describe it, you know, first fight, second fight, and then what is it going into this third fight? Hmm. I think the first fight, I was a bit more established with the, with the American UFC fans, you know. Um, I had a few wins, a couple good wins. Had gone on streaks before in Zufa, and he was the up-and-coming guy who had a lot of hype and didn't have that um, big staple win in his UFC career yet. And, and I was that guy, unfortunately. Um, a stepping stone on his rise to stardom, to the celebrity and superstar Conor McGregor that he, he became to be. You know, I was part of that uh, history. And looking back, that sucks for me to be that position. But at the same time, it's beautiful because that's what life's about, man. Things go full circle and then we meet again, you know, years and years later after he has become the two-time, you know, two-division world champion, and uh, I put my hand on interim gold. Just a good, good fighting story, mm -hmm. you know?